your reaction to the shootings in South Carolina? The, you know, the, the racial killings um, of the black parishioners in Charleston, South Carolina by uh, this avowed white supremacist millennial um, was, you know, so sadly unsurprising. And I think that it's so interesting for so many kinds of reasons. He wrote this racial manifesto, this racist manifesto. Um, and in it, he used a lot of the language that we've seen bandied about by those who oppose multiculturalism, those who oppose diversity. Um, he said white culture is world culture. You know, he, he, um, he uh, asserted that whites had to flee to the suburbs um, because blacks were, were bringing everybody down. Um, he, you know, sort of used a lot of the language that's really been mainstreamed over the last 50 years uh, by right wing politics. Um, and that has been supported by, you know, often uh, moderate and liberal politicians. And, um, and so in that sense, it wasn't shocking at all. Um, and what's, what's so uh, sad about this is, you know, it, we have like this, this way of, of kind of wishing it would all go away, right? And colorblindness is like that. The, this notion of, hey, if we just don't see difference, if, if I don't see you as, as, as Chinese Hawaiian, uh, you know, then like we, you know, we've resolved all the issues between us. <laughs> um, you know, the, the sort of, these sort of, these sort of ways of, of, of avoiding the problem um, and so much energy, energy goes into a, a avoiding um, the problem. Um, have just left, you know, uh, this new generation as confused as any previous generation.